क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फाइव से इज दैट फॉर कंप्लीट कंबशन ऑफ इथेनॉल द कंबशन रिएक्शन ऑफ इथेनॉल इज गिवन द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड एज मेजर्ड इन बॉम्ब कैलोरीमीटर इज 1364.47 किलो जूल पर मोल एट 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस एज्यूमिंग आइडियलिटी द एंथेल्पी ऑफ कंबशन फॉर द रिएक्शन विल बी The value of R, universal gas constant, is given as 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin, and the four options are given. Now let's see how to solve this problem. When a combustion reaction is carried out in a bomb calorimeter, the heat produced is a measure of change in internal energy of the system. for this combustion reaction delta u is given as minus 1364.47 kilo joule per mole we have to find out the change in enthalpy the change in enthalpy is related to the change in internal energy plus delta n g r t the value of delta u is given as minus 1364.47 plus for this reaction the value of delta n g is 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 the value of r is 8.314 the temperature given is 25 degree celsius that is 298 kelvin since the delta u is given in kilo joule the value of r is in joule so we have to convert this to kilo joule divide by 1000 on solving this expression we get a value of minus 1366.95 kilo joule per mole this value tallies with the value given in option 2 so option 2 is the correct answer now we will discuss the next question that is question number 66 Question number sixty-six says that for estimation of nitrogen, one point four gram of an organic compound was digested by Jeldahl method, and the evolved ammonia was absorbed in sixty milliliter of M by ten sulfuric acid. The unreacted acid required twenty milliliter of M by ten. sodium hydroxide for complete neutralization the percentage of nitrogen in the compound is four options are given option 1 is 5% option 2 6% option 3 10% and option 4 3% now let's see how to solve this problem the ammonia evolved from the organic compound reacts with sulfuric acid part of the sulfuric acid is consumed by ammonia the rest of sulfuric acid that is the excess sulfuric acid is neutralized by sodium hydroxide the equivalence of sulfuric acid must be equal to equivalence of ammonia and the equivalence of sodium hydroxide equivalence of sulfuric acid must be equal to 
equivalence of ammonia plus equivalence of sodium hydroxide we have been given the molarity of sulfuric acid as 1 by 2 the n factor of sulfuric acid is 2 so its normality will be 2 into 1 by 10 normality multiplied by volume in liter will give the equivalence 60 divided by 1000 these are the equivalents of sulfuric acid equivalents of ammonia this we have to find out plus equivalence of sodium hydroxide the molarity of sodium hydroxide is given as 1 by 10 its n factor is 1 so its molarity is same as normality that is uh, 1 by 10 into volume of sodium hydroxide in liter that is 20 by 1000 so equivalence of ammonia is equal to this is 6 by 500 minus 1 by 500 that is 1 by 100 n factor of ammonia is 1 so its equivalence is same as its moles so moles of nitrogen is equal to moles of ammonia that is same as equivalence of ammonia it means moles of nitrogen is 1 by 100 mass of nitrogen is 14 by 100 that is 0 0.14 gram the mass of organic compound given is 1.4 gram so percentage of nitrogen 0 0.14 divided by 1.4 into 100 this comes out to be 10 percent so percentage of nitrogen in the given compound is 10 percent option 3 is the right answer this is the right answer now we will discuss the next question that is question number 67 question number 67 says that the major organic compound formed by the reaction of 111 trichloroethane with silver powder is the four options given are 2 butene acetylene ethene and 2 butyne 111 trichloroethane reacts with silver powder as to give 2-butyne as the major product. The correct answer is option 4. Now we will discuss the next question 68. 